Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disable Cortana in Windows 10. Now I did an original how to disable Cortana video, I believe probably last August, but I did want to make a follow up, especially considering how I've heard that a lot of upgraded users from Windows 10 to the anniversary update have experienced Cortana reappearing. So I thought I would make a brief tutorial and actually an improved tutorial on how to disable Cortana. So this is very simple and this tutorial will apply for users of Windows 10 Home and Professional Edition. There is a group policy editor method as well, but because I do not want to alienate our Windows 10 Home users, I'm going to be doing a one-stop shop for everybody here. So we're going to start by heading over to our Start menu. Type in Reg Edit right click on it and then left click on run as administrator if you have user account control enabled you might be prompted to click on yes so now what we want to do is head over to HK local machine and then go down to software click on the little arrow next to that and then you want to scroll down to policies then go underneath Microsoft and then you want to go underneath Windows so now what you want to do is we have to create a new key so we're gonna go over to the Windows folder right here right click on it and then left click on new and then go over and then left click on key in the context menu here so now we're gonna name our new key Windows search two words windows search and capitalize the w in windows and the s in search then you can close out of here if for some reason you misspell it the first time do not worry you can just right click on the folder and then left click on rename so once you've created this new folder we're going to right click on this blank area on the right side here and then left click on new and then left click on D word 32 bit value it does not matter whether or not you have a 32 or 64 bit version of Windows installed just select the 32 bit value for D word so now what we want to do is we have to name our new value here now we're gonna type in allow Cortana so this is all gonna be one word here allow Cortana the A and allow will be capital and the C in Cortana will be capital so then you can click out of here it should save the value name if we double click on it make sure this value data is set to zero that's very important here so then left click on OK to confirm close out of the registry editor we see that it appears Cortana is still enabled but if we click on the search it says sorry but your company policy prevents me from working so if we actually restart the computer here I'm actually going to let the computer restart and then I will resume recording once I log back into Windows. Hello everyone I'm back. So we see that it still says search the web and Windows. If we click on the search menu here we can see that instead of saying that we can see that Cortana appears not to be enabled. And if you actually click on the little gear icon you see the settings page opens up for the start menu and we see Cortana is disabled by the company policy if you also want to disable web searching through the start menu you could left click on the search online and include web results on this little blue oval and this will toggle it to the off position and the only reason I show this is if you really want to make the search menu back to how it used to be so now we're just down to our search menu right here and if for some reason you wanted to disable the search box as well it's very simple to do that all you have to do is right click on an empty spot on the taskbar left click on the search option and if it's selected to show the search box instead left click on hidden and now we see we have the start button that we would normally see in Windows 7 or Windows 8 and if you click on it at that point you can just start typing and the search menu will appear so you can start typing stuff in but you actually have to click on the start button and then you just start typing and then stuff will start populating the menu 
So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.